What you guys got another video here for you on how to securely and completely delete files in Windows 10. Now we all know now we all know that files and directories when they're deleted go to the recycle bin and when you empty the recycle bin you may think that these files are actually gone from the computer but the way Windows has worked over the years it stores these files so you can easily restore these with some sort of uh, data recovery software and that is a really scary part especially if you're getting rid of a computer or you're giving a computer away to someone you want to make sure that you securely erase all the data from that area or from the computer so let me just show you in this video how we're going to securely and completely delete files in Windows 10 the safe way using Windows tools here so S delete has been around for quite a while and uh, it was made by Mark Rusevich who at the time worked for himself but now works for Microsoft it's part of the sys internals package which you can download for free and I'll show you how to use it it's very simple and easy to use and it's quite powerful you can see here you can do a bunch of stuff with it remove read and write only attributes you can clear free space uh, you can specify the number of overwrites you want to use. Now I'll show you step by step on how to securely erase all of the data very easily with uh, Estelite. It's a nice little tool to have on your system and it comes part as Windows. You can just download it and drop it into your System32 folder if you wish or you can put it into the C root directory, whatever you want to do. So let me extract this to our desktop here and uh, we'll extract it. It's just one simple file and it does have a, a EULA which you can read a little bit later on but it's uh, from Microsoft so it's a safe file. So you can see here this is the file and what we're going to do is we're going to drop this into a location. Now you will see two files Estelite and Estelite 64 which is the 64-bit version which is the one we're using. So I'm going to go into my C drive and then create a folder inside my C root directory and we're going to call this sys internals this is where you can put all your sys internal stuff now you can drop it into the system 32 if you wish but i'm just going to drop it inside here this is where i've always put them and i think it's a, a useful place to put them and store them so i'm going to put it in here i'm going to call it sys internal so i know exactly what it is and of course they have other tools in there as well so if you want to see more videos on the tools they use or have then let me know in the comments section below let me just put a capital s there okay then we can open this up and we can drag in our file there we go sdelete.exe that's in there and we're ready to rock and roll so let's go so i can delete these files now and we don't need those anymore now what i've got set up here is a drive itself you can have a usb drive or it could be uh, another volume which you've got set up and you can see i've got it as a uh, a secret drive which is uh, the E drive here and this will be where the documents are they're inside a folder called secret and there's a bunch of files inside here and of course there's another folder another subdirectory inside there called stuff and it could be content in there it could be documents could be whatever you want to put in there and you may want to keep that secure and when you want to wipe it you can use this s delete to remove it you can see we've got our sys internals folder here with our s delete so let's right click on the start button and open up windows powershell with administrator privileges there we go so now we've got our box open here our command prompt box what we're going to do is put in our commands now this is powershell so we're going to do cd dot dot and this takes us back a directory and let's do the same again and it takes us back to our c root directory where we can then type dir you can now see we've got our sys internals folder here so we're going to change our directory to that sys internals folder very simple now we can type dir and we can now see we have our sdelete.exe file inside there so we're in the right location here so what we need to do is give it a command to uh, show us some of the commands that we can use so let's do dot backslash sdelete and then we can do space forward slash question mark push enter and this will give you all of the switches which you can use for all the commands that will uh, tell it what to do so you can see the c uh, dash c there is the clean free space dash p it specifies the number of overwrites you want to do dash r will remove and read only attribute and we've got dash s which will recurse uh, subdirectories and dash z 
which will zero free space. I'll show you all of these and how they work. Disks must not have any volumes in order to be cleaned. That's the way this program works. So let's crack on and put in a command to clean something. So let's go in and do our dot backslash s delete and this will tell it to run and now we need to put in a couple of little switches here so which we're going to call uh, say dash p and now we need to specify how many overwrites we want to give it let's just do free and now we can do free here and then we can do space and now we can give it another switch we can call this a dash r and this is going to remove any read only attributes and dash s will uh, recurse any subdirectories inside there so it will remove any subdirectories inside that um, folder and now we can do dash q if we wanted to and run this quiet but we're not going to do that one we're going to leave that one out and we're just going to put in the location now our location is our e drive so we need to make sure we're putting uh, the e colon inside there and this will actually tell it to wipe that location so we don't want to wipe the whole uh, drive we want to just do that folder inside so we're going to do e colon backslash and then with the backslash we can then put our folder inside there which is our directory which is called secret so let's go ahead and put that in there and now we can push enter and then when we push enter this will go ahead and start secure erasing all of that information inside there you can see it's been deleted this will be deleted and overwritten three times which will make it virtually impossible to uh, recover that data you can see it's now gone so that's how you can delete a folder and a subdirectory inside that folder so now we've done that what we can do is do the free space we can clean up the free space so we want to clean all the free space for the e drive so this is the, the whole drive which we have here so we're going to run this command on here so let's go ahead and uh, show you the command for that one so again what we're going to have to do is let me pull this up a bit we're going to do the dot backslash s delete and this will tell it to run so we're just going to go ahead and do that so we'll type that out i'll try and take it nice and slow so you can see what i'm doing here and also what we will need to do after we've done our s delete we will need to do a space and then dash c now this is going to tell it to basically clean up our free space on that drive so let's go ahead and do that so we've done dash c and now we have to put in the drive letter which is what we want to do which is e colon and this will tell it to wipe the free space on our e drive so let's go ahead and push enter here now this will take a bit of time depending on the size of the drive so this will go through and do one pass on that drive and it's cleaned all of that for us so that's all now been wiped and again we can do free passes if we wanted to so I'm going to go ahead and show you that one so we'll do exactly the same thing again but this time I'm just going to add in the dash p and then put in the amount of overwrites I want to do so let's just put p free and then we're going to do space e colon and run that and you'll see that it will basically give us free passes this time now you can see it's starting to do free passes and cleaning the free space on our drive E and it will then purge all the MFT files on there which will make it impossible to recover data from that drive. So you can see that's done a pretty good job at that. So we've done one pass and three passes on that drive. Very simple and easy to do. Now that will take a bit of time if you've got a super large drive. I've made a small volume there to make it nice and easy for us to uh, wipe that drive. So that's what we've done. So let's do uh, dot backslash s delete and then what we'll do here now is we'll zero the drive by doing the dash z and this will zero the drive and we're going to do e colon and then let that run on one pass and zero that drive very simple and easy to do so it's free clean up the free space and zero the drive for us so that's a nice way to uh, securely erase any sort of data folders files on your drive and uh, it's pretty easy to do using the s delete now again you can see here we run a bunch of different stuff on here this does also work in command prompt so if you do want to run it in command prompt you can do and you can see here the drive is now being cleaned let me quickly show you how to do it in command prompt so you can use the c cd dot dot to take you back a directory you can also use dir here and you can also use change directory to um, sys internals exactly the same way but you don't do the uh, dot 
uh, backslash you won't have to do that inside command prompt you just type in the name of uh, s delete so it'll be slightly different so we're just typing in s delete here not dot backslash s delete and then you can still use your little switches here p uh, dash p free uh, for free overwrites and then you can put in there e colon so the only difference in the command is we're not using uh, the dot backslash uh, which we would use inside PowerShell inside the command prompt we're not using that we're just putting the name of the file itself but that's basically it and it has the same uh, effect by using it in command prompt or in PowerShell whatever way you want to do it very simple and easy to do very powerful tool and a very useful tool to have on your Windows operating system anyway that's about it for this video that's how you can securely and completely erase or delete any files on your Windows 10 operating system my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk I shall see you again for another video tomorrow bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos Thank <laughs> you.